Finding an influencer for me is very tough because there's so many great people out there and many of us actually never really get to meet our mentors. Now this is a very tough question for me because I believe that our mentors change and different people inspire us for different things. But in today's video, I wanna let you know some of the people that have influenced me to the man that I am today. Now the original mentor obviously is my dad and my dad's characteristic that I absolutely loved seeing grow up was his ability to work the room. And in fact, if you put us two in the room to this day and there's other people there, you'll see that I become more of a one-on-one -on -one talker than a more of a social butterfly working the room. Because that was always something that my dad did growing up. Ever since I was a kid, I remember walking into any types of parties, big, small, didn't matter. There was my dad. He always knew everybody in the room. And if he didn't, he got to know them. He's the first guy to turn on the karaoke machine and to be belting out Bon Jovi. He's the first guy, as soon as that 90s hip hop song came on, he was out there dancing with his perm and his suit. And I remember him as being such a charismatic man. And even to this date, he is still that guy. So when people see me walking into a room and I start to talk to people, people say hi to me, a lot of people know me. Honestly, if you rewound 30 years ago, it would have been the same thing, but it would have been my dad working in that room. So my number one first mentor is my dad. Now the second is Jesus and God, but honestly, Jesus and God came later into my life. It wasn't really something that we grew up with. I didn't grow up in a traditional home where we went to church, where I went to Catholic school, where I knew every single you know, phrase and whatever else and got the bread and all that. Like that, I didn't know any of that. And in fact, I only started going to church when I was about 18 and it was out of pure guilt. And in fact, probably for the first 12 years of me going to church, so from 18 till I was about 30, 31, I just went to church out of pure guilt. You know, if I did something wrong or I ate, you know, like talked to somebody differently or did, you know, everything was built around me going to church just so that I can ask for my forgiveness. But it wasn't until I started going to Springs Church where they said that all sins were forgiven on the cross. And to me, that's an eye opener. So what does that tell me is that my sin is already removed. So even if I sin in the future, that God has already forgiven me. And as such, I should just forgive myself. Now, it doesn't give me the passageway to go and do a bunch of horrible things, but it's a way for me to know that, hey, there is no perfect person on this world. And hey, it's okay to not be perfect. And so as such, that's when Jesus and God, those are my main influencers right now. So if any kind of situation that's big, that I need to work through, it always goes through Jesus and God. So right now, those are my two major mentors. Now, when it came to business, back in around 2013 is when I decided to really take my business serious. I was basically just running it part-time. I made enough money to you know, move out of my parents' house, buy my own car, buy my own house, but it wasn't enough to keep around good people. And that was the thing was back then, I was hiring a lot of students. And then, you know, for students to go back to school and when the off season like was done and then all the hockey players went to play wherever they were playing, the people that worked for me were hockey players. So they would just go play as well. Wasn't a big deal. But then I started hiring great men and great women. And I was like, I can't afford to keep these guys on full time. And so they started to go and actually get jobs. So my first goal when it came to business was just to be able to hire some staff, to be able to pay them, and then have this as an ongoing thing. And so as such, I started like researching on the internet, like what are some elements of a business? Because I never took any business courses. And so I needed to go and find it from the ground roots. Like, tell me about business. What are some aspects of the business? And one of them was obviously fitness marketing. And so there was this guy, Bedros Koulian, and Bedros at the time, or he's still doing it, but he does coaching for business owners, primarily gym owners. And he was like the original guy in the industry at the time. And so it was Bedros where we sat in a room and he asked me a question as to what's your biggest constraint right now? And so my biggest constraint right then was that we were in the basement of the, the school and we got kicked out, 
We could potentially get kicked out again, but you know, I wasn't sure if I should open up my location. And he's just like, There's, this, is, this is the only thing you need to do. He's like, you need to open up your own location. And so Bedros was actually the man that inspired me to just like have the nerve to go ahead and pull the trigger and open up my own location. Another business mentor to me was Alex Sharfin. So he's a business coach that taught me like the deep nitty gritties of business as to like KPIs, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like even how to use Excel spreadsheets and all these different elements of business where it's not just so much like go and be a great leader, go and, you know, like, like, you know, be a great coach, learn about this, learn about that. It was about like the systems and structures and how to manage people. And so he became my mentor for about two years and he really inspired my life, but he was also a man that was really connected and deeply grounded with his family. But he's also a man that was all about his like life hacks. And so he was the guy that was the original. So if you watch me on YouTube or if you watch me on Instagram, you'll see that I hyperhydrate, like I chug a liter of water every single morning. And it was because of that man that I do that. And I've been doing that for, I guess, almost like, six, seven years now. So Alex Sharfin is one of my greatest mentors of all time. Now the last mentor, and this man actually just re-entered my life, and I wasn't sure where he's at because he was kind of old back then. But I mean, when you were in grade eight, you know, anybody over the age of like 20 looked old to you anyways. And so this guy by the name of Mr. Warner, he just randomly walked into the gym and I was like, Mr. Warner? And he's like, no, 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 it's Jurgen. You're Mr. Padua. He goes like that. He was such a respectful man. And he's one of the person of he's one of the very first person that inspired me to become a public speaker. He said that my speeches were so inspirational and that this is something that I do very well. And as such, his classes I took very serious. Like English writing was so important to me because of what he said. He said that my speeches were amazing. I can go up and stand up and deliver an amazing speech. I didn't know what I knew now. I just went up there and just you know wrote some things and he said he absolutely loved it. And so as such, from grade eight to grade 12, we always stayed in contact, even though I really only had a couple classes with him. But he's a man that was definitely an inspirational leader through my grade eight to grade 12 going through high school. So Mr. Warner, shout out to you. So there we have it guys, my, my top inspirational mentors up to date. You gotta remember that mentors evolve and different people inspire us for various reasons. So I encourage you to explore the diverse influences that shape your journey and stay open to the wisdom that comes from unexpected places. So as we wrap up today's reflection, I'd love to hear about the mentors who have impacted your life. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And until next time, keep learning, growing, and drawing from inspiration from the incredible mentors around you. And if you're looking to surround yourself with incredible people, contact us, www.fitclub.fit.